This is going to be the clothing and final look uh, for my air season that I've been doing for my zodiac birthday theme. If you guys want to play catch up and see all my other looks that I've done so far for the other zodiacs, uh, I will have a playlist down at the bottom. And I'm also doing birthstone as well, that's part of this birthday theme. And all that will be listed down in the bottom inside that playlist. So welcome back if you are a returning subscriber if you are new here hello i am nisha welcome to today's video like i said we're doing a look for the final look <laughs> for air season and it was a battle between these two because i think i've only done one look with both of these Aries palette but i think the one i have decided on um i think i want to do this one and the reason why i've like been slacking on zodiac looks and just any makeup tutorials in general um time has been getting the best of me y'all <laughs> honestly kids been going back and forth um with having different sickness going on and then work and then just tired <laughs> just tired so um i've been slacking on recording for the past two weeks so that's why i haven't i feel like i've been uploading you know almost every day but not really and that's because of my schedule so hopefully by the time you guys see this video which will probably be the day that i'm actually filming so today um i'm hoping that the ideal of how i want to record and film works out for me um if not then it is what it is i'm not going to stress about it i've learned when you have kids <laughs> and you plan things sometimes things just don't go as planned and it's hard for me to accept that because I want things to be my way. But when you have kids, it's like, oh no, baby. It's all about a balance of their way and putting them in and fitting them in and schedule. Because kids are unpredictable. You can't predict when they're gonna get sick. You can't predict if they're not gonna go to sleep and be up four o'clock in the morning and you have to go to work the next day in like five hours. No, you can't predict those things. So it happens. So pretty much just gotta roll with the flow. So we're gonna do one more look using this palette. So I'm hopefully I'm gonna to try to gravitate towards these other darker shades and go away from the orange and pinks. I mean not pinks, but the orange and reds because I feel like I've been doing a lot of red and orange looks, especially for this zodiac. So let's go ahead and get up close and personal so we can get started with this look. So one of the first shades that I definitely wanted to try the moment I seen this palette was this shade. From different angles, it looks brown, it looks burgundy, it looks purple. I don't actually know. So let's go ahead and swatch her on the eye. She's a nice deep color, so I'm not afraid on what color she's going to be. This is going to determine how we're going to go with this look. I still don't know what color this is. It's like a deep purple, semi-brown. I don't know. But she's in the crease, okay? And we're gonna work with it. So I'm gonna continue doing that. All right, it looks really pretty. So the color I think I wanna blend it out with, I was thinking about this very but I'm, like, I'm trying to stay away from the red. So let's go for this shade, Passion. Passion is like a little light tan color. I'm not sure if she'll show up against this color though. I think Passion is gonna be too light. So I just went with the next shade that's above it, which is fire, which is that, this shade right here. This passion is not, yeah, it's not blending out the way I wanted it to blend. So let's do passion, I'm sorry, fire instead. Now if needed, and I think it's needed, I'm gonna go back in with fearless. Just that dark purple color. 
kind of like bring it up just a little bit to help blend out these two shades together. All right, so I'm satisfied with the crease blend. This brown purple shade, it's more purple, okay? I'm gonna call it purple shade. It's a very deep shade to where it almost looks black. So I think we're gonna go dark when it comes to like the lid, kind of like the balance out. So stay away from the orange and the red shades. And I'm probably gonna play along with this gray and purple that I have on this other side from Metallic. So I'm gonna cut my crease really quick off camera. I definitely love to cut my crease because I feel like you really see the crease combo a lot better when you do that. And I really like how this is looking. Really pretty. Okay, so now what are we gonna do on the lid? I said these two dark ones, but which order? Or do I do both? Do I do this one? I think that purple is gonna be light, so here is that silver gray one, and here is the purple. Yes, I think I like that. And I'm going to wet the brush. So I'm gonna go in with the gray, the gray shade, which is called Warrior. The shade. I'm gonna go in with this interesting <laughs> purple. I'm praying it don't appear darker because right now from the swatches it was doing something else. And I feel like the texture of this eyeshadow in particular is a lot more creamier. And I, I've seen that before I even I don't think this is an eyeshadow. It's coming off a little bit different. Yeah. Um yeah, it's barely showing up, but it's not even picking up in the it's like it's a I don't know if it's like a gel like look it's just bouncing around see barely pick it up so I use our brush That eyeshadow was doing something different. Like the more I kept pushing in it, it kept doing this. Like, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. So it's like a jelly type of eyeshadow. I don't know if that's meant to be like that or if it was a mistake in the palette. I've never used a jelly type of eyeshadow before, but I used a different brush that was dry. And like I said, the more I kept digging the brush inside the eyeshadow, the deeper it kept getting creamy. So it wasn't for me wetting the brush, I don't know what was going on with that texture, but anywho, taking more of Fearless and I'm just going to pop it towards my outer to close up this cut crease look. And I'm also cleaning up the edges. I get a little too happy when I put these eyeshadows on my eyelid, so sometimes I do go over my cut crease. That looks really nice. This look was so different. I like how this came out. Definitely, I'm, I'm glad that I went away from the oranges and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do a nice little wing really quick, do the rest of my face. And we're gonna come back to finish up the eyes and whatever else I showed today. All right, so now I'm gonna take that same brown, purple, and pop it on my bottom lash line. So I like the eye combo, it's just a little dark than what I was leaning towards. But then again, I think I did say I'm gonna go dark with this look. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of sparkle. And this is the, what is this called? It's from ColourPop, I forgot what these are called. The jellies, something like that. I'm just gonna take, if it's not dried up, <laughs> take a little bit of that and just randomly like, just tap it on my eyes. You don't have to put no lash glue or nothing on like it does. I'm 
supposed to do. Look at that, it's so pretty. All right, so let's move on with my lip combo. Going in with my Lime Crime lipstick. So while this is drying down, I am gonna do a little cheat cheat. I know I like to stick with the palette, but I need an inner popper air. Like I said, it's a little too dark for my liking right now. So I'm just adding some glitter glue. And I grabbed this loose eyeshadow. This is from a brand I used to call Graffiti Divas. <laughs> I still have her eyeshadows, yes. But I'm going to pop it in the inner because I think it's gonna give the illusion of this purple that I was supposed to like, but I don't like. It's gonna help intensify just a little bit. That is much needed, okay. That's what I was missing. See that? Okay, now I feel better. So I'm gonna quickly pop on my lashes. All right, my lashes I have on are the Kiss lashes. They're in the style um, Impress. So really quick, this is very a dark brown lip. I wasn't going to use this lip by itself because I knew it wasn't going to go with the flow of everything, but I couldn't find my lip liner. So we're using this as a actual lip liner. So I'm going to go in with the Fenty lipstick. This one is called C Sweetheart. And it's just a nice little like nude pink color. So I'm going to pop this in the center now that this dry down. Okay, this is what she looks like. This is too nude pale for me. So I'm gonna go in with one more lip product. And this is in the shade Fussy. Okay, and if I need to, which I do think I need to just a little bit, I wanna go back around my lips with this brown. this little scarf thing and I'll, be, and I'll zoom out all right you guys so this is going to complete the look i hope you guys like and enjoy today's banger like i said this is the ending of the era season for you guys but don't worry we're moving on tomorrow with the next zodiac sign which i believe is taurus <laughs> and i need to be familiar with the palace because um i think taurus are going to be now into like the spring bright color so my taurus babes Y'all look out because it's going to be some bright looks coming y'all way. But as for my Aries, again, happy birthday for all my Aries babes out there. I hope you guys had a beautiful birthday. I hope you have a beautiful celebration. Being that you celebrated another birthday was definitely a blessing within itself. So many more birthday blessings to you guys all that's watching. And of course, I'll be back tomorrow with another look. Most definitely, it would be probably a tourist look because day season starts tomorrow but for my Aries babes one more time for the birthday one time one time for the birthday babes you guys have a beautiful day stay blessed stay amazing and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye one time for the birthday one time for the birthday go Aries go Aries go 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 Aries